Hey guys, Ryan with Rigs of Death Metal. Today we're going to be taking a look at this guy. This is the leaded answer from Lone Wolf Audio slash Void Manufacturing. Let's check it out.
you guys have uh, got to hear this in the mix. You've heard me messing around with it and turning knobs, so let's chat about it for a quick second. Um, as a lot of you may or may not know, uh, Joe Anastasio, Joe, I hope I pronounced your last name right. Um, yeah, he, uh, he was formerly known as Lone Wolf Audio, and it's either earlier this year or last year, rebranded the company and changed the name to Void Manufacturing to refocus the brand more on modular synth and, uh, you know, cool atmospheric kind of sounds. And, um, but because he's still very much rooted in hardcore and death metal and thrash, um, he does these limited runs still under Lone Wolf Audio. And this is part of one of those runs. This is just a balls out, uh, you know, super heavy uh, dirt box, as Joe is very well known to do. Um, no frills, just <laughs> pure hate in a box. Uh, as you can tell by the really awesome blood splatter graphic. Uh, that's another thing. I think a lot of his pedals look cool. They have this kind of. <sighs> I don't know, just no frills brick kind of kind of layout and he'll do cool colorways and and graphics and stuff like that. Um there are people that just collect his stuff like crazy. And uh yeah, this one uh the controls pretty straightforward. And f by the way, uh before I get into this, uh just a quick note from Joe, uh, as me and him were talking about this. Um, this was designed, uh, which I, I did not, you know, run this the way it was designed. Um, I ran it through the front of the Kemper, and I boosted a profile. Um, it, his original intent was to run this as a distortion pedal into a clean super like high headroom tube amp um you know something like a high watt or an ampeg v4 uh maybe even a plexi which i know he's not a marshall fan but you get the idea so i do not have that at the moment even though i wish i did wish i had one of everything so um with that being said uh for the way i was running it i actually really really dug this as an overdrive, a really disgusting sounding overdrive. Uh, didn't push it. Uh, I wouldn't say it would go into like HM2, you know, kind of that Swedish chainsaw sound, but definitely added lots of blood encrusted grime onto my guitar tone. And it was, I think it was just a standard, uh, either a standard dual rectifier profile or possibly the rectifier road king 2 i'm not sure um but yeah it has a three band eq on the bottom you know just uh low mid high a volume and gain control which you can see the volume has a lot of headroom i've got it about eh, between one and two o'clock and the gain um i kind of mess back and forth between bumping it to about nine o'clock to just have it straight off. Um, but yeah, super pleased with this. Um, I, I really, really wish I had, uh, some really cool high headroom. I've got the Mosfell power amp, but I don't think it would be quite the same thing. Um, if you have sort of a pedal platform kind of amp, like, um, either soft tech or electro harmonics, uh, MIG like 50 or something, or an old an Ampeg V4, or any kind of classic, you know, uh, class a tube, single channel tube amp, lots of headroom, clean headroom. Uh, this would be a really, really sick distortion base for your overall tone. Uh, or if you just want a really balls out over the top, uh, kind of overdrive to maybe you've got a pretty compressed, very, very tight sounding amp 
and you're going for something, you know, uh, slightly looser, a little, you know, a little nastier, you know, let's say you've got, um, I don't, I don't know, some kind of ingle or on a cheaper end, something like a black star, or maybe something really dry, like a VHT pit bull. And you're just wanting to saturate and get some of that fizz, uh, the top end and kind of that, that just snarl in the low mids. Uh, this is definitely the pedal for that. So, and, uh, Joe did not send me this. I purchased it, purchased this on my own money. Uh, super pleased with this. So yeah, I fully recommend not endorsed. This is just my own opinion. Uh, so thank you all for checking this out and we will see you next time. Bye.